This is the score of um, Rega's Symphonic Fantasy in Fugue, Opus 57. This is um, actually the piece uh, by which my whole research on the tempo, the question of tempo in Rega's music uh, started. It initiated that research because there are some funny metronome indications in the adagio section of the fantasy. And I thought that the note values of those metronome indications were misprints. But that's not the case. Rager used his metronome in a different way than, than we have thought. He didn't use it like this, tick, 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 but he used it like tick, tick, tick. And when it comes to the tempo, I think you cannot uh, play this at, uh, at a double speed because then the, the, the tempo rubato would not work anymore. Um, this is, this is, I think this must be quite close to the intended tempo because you can just tell from the tempo rubato, it would become very unnecessary. This, has, this is not phrasing like lifting up your finger. No, this is phrasing in tempo timing. rubato. It's, it's, it's timing. Yeah. yeah. No, it was so. But you were the master of that. Is, it's it's not only about tempo, but all these things ha they they hang together. It's it's the it's the phrasing, articulation, the mm. instrument, the acoustics, mm. and you have to play with that. Well, the CD will be recorded by Erik Sikema, who also uh, did a recording for my first Rager CD. And I think that uh, Erik uh, is a very good sound engineer. Dulce takes care very much about the diffuse field. And that's one of the most important things in organ recordings, because if your recording gets disturbed from acoustics, it's because of the diffuse field. I can make Rager's music uh, more understandable and accessible for, for the listener.